and we got a great video and deck that I'm very happy to bring to you guys at home. Today we're gonna to talk about some of my favorite caps for the Acme, in particular, fat caps. Oh gee, are you like thin tube suit? Yeah, I know, I know, I do, I do. But I do enjoy the fast flow and fast feel of fat caps, and that is what this video is about. I wanted to say thank you guys for all the kind words, encouragement, and constructive criticism regarding the Graffiti Legends videos. You know, I take it all in, baby. I take it all in. Like, it's like a big soup. You know, I throw it all inside the soup, I stir it up, and I drink it in. You know what I'm saying? Like a big, hot, brothy soup, and it is delicious. Now, some of the criticism, a little bit unwarranted, but that's okay. You take the bad with the good, and you know what? You can't please everyone. You know what I'm saying? You can't please everyone. But I will say this. I got some really great feedback from some <laughs> very legendary old school writers. And um, it's opened up some doors. Let's just say that. It's opened up some doors that I didn't think could open. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, if I wouldn't have tried it, it would have never happened. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm dropping all these cliches. But that's okay. That's okay. I will say this. There will be more to come. So thank you very much for watching and keep tuned. Now, let's talk about some caps for the Acme cans. Generally, when I do a piece, I like to kind of scratch it in with a fat cap and outline it with a thin tip. But what if you just painted with all fat caps? You know, because the stock tip is a fat cap, right? So I think today we're gonna go paint a piece, but first, let's do a quick comparison on this wall and see what they spray like. All right, guys, before we get started, it's crucial that you do the most important thing you could ever do in graffiti. Yes, you can do this too, guys. <laughs> There's more than one way to skip. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> how many, how many, oh, I'm such a cliche. All right, so before you actually spray on a wall, it's really crucial to just do a quick test spray because there might be some leftover resin or a little bit of pigment in the straw. So when you go spray on the wall, uh, without it, you know, shaken obviously, but without that first spray, you might get like some clear resin or something on in, in, <laughs> this is This is crucially important by the way, because what if you're doing like that one really important line and you didn't do the test spray first and you go and all of a sudden it's just pure resin that comes out. You would be pretty bummed. So make sure you do that test spray. Very, very important. Anyways, so this is the stock tip on the Acme and I think this is cyan, one of my favorite colors. Stock tip, fat tip. New York fat cap, about five fingers, New York fat cap. Beautiful cap. Wonderful spray, beautiful cap. But you can get pretty thin. See what I'm saying? You can get very, very thin with it, but it flares really nice. I love this cap. This should be the stock tip for everybody. Um, it really should, it really should. So anyways, this is our reference point right here. Stock tip on Acme. Let's check out some others. All right, guys, so these are the three caps I picked. The Eurofat, the Level 6 with the pink dot, and the Yellow Fat cap. So why don't we go ahead and try them on the Acme and compare them. All right, guys, up first is the Yellow Fat. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Test spray. Woo! Woo, <laughs> baby. That is thick. Thick, wow, look at that. Okay, up next is the Eurofat. Test spray, test spray, test spray. Test, test. Already I will tell you it's a lot more airy than the yellow fat, more airy. But very thick, very, very thick. All right wow. guys, let's go ahead and check out the level six pink dot. The best level six, by the way, the best one. This is, this is pretty good, this is pretty good. Wow. Let's do a thinny. Whoa, whoa, baby. Whoa, mama. You know, people always ask me like, hey, what's the best cap to use? There is no one best cap to use. Every can has a different type of pressure set up. Every can has a different, you know, thickness of the paint, because that makes a big difference in how fat it sprays or how much it puts out. Uh, every can has a different valve. It's all gonna be different. So and it really depends on how you spray. That's really how these caps are. It's just how you spray, really. You gotta find the cap that works for you. For me personally, I like the yellow fat. That's what I like personally. But hey, you might like, you might like the level six. Who knows? It's really hard to say. So very interesting comparison. 
uh, they will all serve you well. Now, why don't we do a couple quick hit offs and then I'll go out and paint a piece and we'll make a video. Wow. Test spray. yellow fat for this because I like it. I like it. Uh, and we're going to hit up Reeve. R-E-V-E. -E, Reeve. Mm. Buttery. What is this? Oh, denim blue dark. It's very nice. It's a uh, like a navy, a navy peacoat blue. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit up Sanjay, Sanjay. I don't have enough room. <laughs> Sorry, Reeve. I like to paint big, okay? I like to paint big. Let's do another one down here. Let's do another one down here. There we go. All right, one more, one more. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit a bear. I feel like I hit you off already. I think I did. But maybe not, I don't know. You know, I went to Yellowstone a while back and uh, I went there by myself, I just, uh, on a whim, I was like, I'm just gonna drive to Yellowstone, you know? So I drove all the way out to Yellowstone and I had this huge uh, 500 milliliter, milliliter, 500 millimeter F4 lens and I was like photographing these bears and I was far away from them. And even still, the, I wasn't even filling up the frame, like I wasn't filling up the frame. Uh, but even then I was like, man, that bear could, that bear could close that gap way faster than I could get to my car. And even if I could get to my car, he would probably rip the door off and eat me. <laughs> but it was like, it was exhilarating. It was really exhilarating. Uh, amazing animals, amazing animals. Anyways, big ups bear. I may have hit you off before, but who knows? All right guys, let's go ahead and hit off tone. Big tone, big tone one. Tony Tone. Look at that flare. Somebody wanted me to write bagel. <laughs> Actually, I think I knew someone who used to write bagel back in the day. That's like TBC crew, TBC crew. There was someone that wrote bagel. That's right. I'm gonna hit it up. TBC, that is right. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, you can get some really nice flare action with these cans, whatever your style, you know what I mean? Whatever your style, you wanna go thin, you wanna go fat, you can do you, homie, you can do you. Now, um, why don't we do this? Why don't I go out to my secret painting spot, get set up, uh, I'll go paint a fat cap piece and a fat cap character. Well, maybe we'll use some thin tips on the character, but on the piece, we'll use only fat caps, New York fat or bigger. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'll do a little bit of commentary and uh, I think we will have a video. Let's get started. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started with this little project here. As you can see, I'm using my splash first. You know, I had uh, someone take me to task about that recently, about, you know, why don't you paint your splash first? And, you know, you always say to work from back to front. And I was like, yeah, you, you're right. I don't know. I think I just, that's just the way I was taught. You know, you do your piece, you do your splash, and then you do your outline. 
I mean, logically, it would make sense to do your splash first. So I agree with you. I mean, I'll do it. Uh, but, you know, it's forced to habit. You just kind of do what you do. <laughs> um, I think I'm using the Euro Fat Cap for this, by the way. And I'm using a, quite a variety of colors, as you can see. And, uh, boy, this is, this is going really fast. I need to explain some things here. <laughs> Basically, I work really quick with the Fat Caps. Uh, I like to lace in nice, thick, chunky lines and uh, just start chopping back a little bit as needed. And uh, I think this is the dark violet in the Acme. Now, you might see a little bit of a weird 3D over there, but whatever. I'll fix that. Or not. Who cares? <laughs> it's whatever. I'm getting up. Hey, if you were painting at my age, you should be so lucky. Okay? You should be so lucky. <clears throat> I'm just giving you young guys a chance to catch up. But <laughs> it was, this is the blush pink, by the way, and I really love this color. And this is also with the Euro Fat Cap. Uh, it hits off really well with the purple, and I highly recommend getting a color wheel, guys, or at least looking one up online. That way, it helps you pick out the colors you need to do these projects. Because as you can see, the, the green is really hitting off of that purple, and I think the green is slime green and spring green, if I remember right. And of course, that's the Bordeaux in the 3D, and as you can see, it creates such a nice little flare. And those are little flare shines I'm doing, by the way. Uh, you know, simple technique. Now, I think my, uh, my shines I'm actually using with the stock tip, which is AKA the New York Fat Cap. Works pretty good for that. Yeah, let's get those rocks out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully that taught you something. I don't know. <laughs> it, you know, the thing with the GoPro is you think you're filming for a long time, and then when you pull it out, and you're like, oh, damn, that was like two seconds of video. <laughs> what can you do? Um, I will tell you one thing. In this particular character, I was kind of doing like a Doctor Doom meets like a gray alien kind of thing. I, I don't really know where I was going with that, but, you know, I'm just having a little bit of fun. Um, I scratched in the hoodie. I think that's the aqua i think that is the aqua and obviously you can see the lighting is terrible you know it's really not a whole lot i can do about that I'm, I'm not on a hollywood budget so you guys just have to work with me here um notice what at the hand i did mess up the hand and that's kind of one of the harder hands to do because you're the the index finger does need to be longer than the pinky and as you can see that initially my pinky was a little bit longer so i put a coat of the can color over it and then I'm going to go back and repaint the hand, as you can see right here. Now, this time I'm doing more structure in the hand, so it looks a little bit more correct. And, you know, it's a cartoon. It's graffiti art. It's art. But, you know, wouldn't hurt to make it look a little bit more correct. So, as you can see, I'm filling it in right there. And now I'm going to start putting a little bit of shines on the fingers and stuff. And it's going to give it a little bit more depth. So, I am working from back to front which should be very helpful for me guys. <clears throat> for you guys, do the dark color and then go build to the lighter color and you're gonna have that nice depth and dimension that you're looking for. The character came out pretty good. Um, I kind of reworked the eyebrows a little bit because I didn't like them. I, I thought they were a little bit too close to the eyes. As you can see right here. That's just a personal choice. You know, as you're painting sometimes, you, you kind of change your mind halfway through it. You know, you do have an eraser in the can. You know what I'm saying? You got an eraser in the can. So if you decide to make any changes, do it. Like, don't even stress about it, man. Just paint right over it. Redo what you are doing before. Like, no big deal. NBD. Um, so as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of highlights on there. And of course, We Come in Peace, which is my uh, my A-L-M-A-F-O thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, we're out the shines right there. But I don't know. I think it came out pretty good. Um, kind of a different style. It's, a, it's like a, well... <sighs> It's almost like Destro. Actually, it kind of looks like Destro, doesn't it? But it came out good. Notice I put a, a halo or a outer outer or a final outer around the character. That's kind of like a 90s thing. A lot of people don't do that anymore, but I, I think it still looks pretty cool and it helps kind of, you know, differentiate your character from the background. Do it or not. Hey, do whatever you want, man. It's all up to you. But I'm very happy with it. Uh, the fat caps work really good. All in all, if you're doing something on a spot like this and you're trying to get in and out quickly, definitely rock the fat caps because it's just going to save you a lot of time. I will say this, on the character, I did use a black dot like on the hands and on the eyes. Just gives me a little bit more detail. So, full disclosure, uh, there was a black dot used on the hand and the eyes. But hey, you know, I may look godlike, but I'm not a god. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here. See you in a second. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it inspired you to go out there and paint something. You know, whatever you like to do, you know, you don't have to do what I do. You could do whatever you want. Um, the world is your oyster. You know what I'm saying? The world is your oyster. And if you want to get down with some cans like this, definitely hit up artprimo.com, artprimo.com, artprimo.com. We actually have kit specials on these right now. Kit specials for like, I think as low as like 350 a can. It's like Rustolian prices for cans that you can mount a cap right on pretty cool stuff also we offer wholesale uh, really great prices on wholesale you would not believe how cheap our wholesale is so if you got a store tattoo shop a skate shop whatever give us a call we can definitely hook you up with wholesale like you would not believe like you would not believe uh, but yay give us a call anyways because we got all kinds of stuff here uh, this is our passion this is our love this is what we love to do um, I love it more than anything I really do and I want you to feel the same way too. So 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, 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 your number one source for graffiti, street art, murals, wicker furniture, whatever you wanna do, we got you. Peace.